was it the money? Nikki Haley up to $1 million in debt as she resigns as UN ambassador. Outgoing United Nations ambassador Nikki Haley had up to $1 million in debt in 2017, raising the possibility she could be leaving to boost her salary by joining the private sector. According to federal ethics reports, Haley's debt last year was somewhere between $525,000 to approximately $1.1 million last year, South Carolina's Post and Career reports. Specifically, Haley owed between $25,000 to $65,000 since 2016 on a couple credit cards and had a mortgage and a line of credit each for $250,000 to $500,000. Haley noted she accrued approximately $10,000 in January 2017 as South Carolina governor before she was confirmed as ambassador to the UN and reported having between $1,000 to $15,000 in her bank account. Additionally, she reported income from her memoir Can't Is Not an Option was not readily ascertainable and therefore did not list that she made any income from the book. The former South Carolina governor is known to have ambitions to run for the White House in 2024 or after a move that would be difficult without being financially secure. As a former chief executive of a state and top diplomat she could command lucrative appoints to boards in well-remunerated speaking engagements. Haley and President Trump announced Tuesday morning that she was resigning and would officially depart her post at the end of this year. It's uncertain why Haley is departing her post, but Trump said that Haley foreshadowed her exit about six months ago and that he wanted an on-air goodbye to dispel speculation about an adversarial ouster. When you write it out on a piece of paper that, you know, Ambassador Haley will be leaving, and you say nice things, people say, what's going on? Trump said during televised remarks. When you really think somebody's done a terrific job, I felt this was an appropriate way of doing it.